एच सी वर्मा चैप्टर सिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन कंसिडर द सिचुएशन सोन इन द फिगर कैलकुलेट ए द एक्सलेशन ऑफ द वन के जी ब्लॉक्स बी द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग कनेक्टिंग द वन के जी ब्लॉक्स एंड सी द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग अटैच टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव के जी ब्लॉक लेट द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग ज्वाइनिंग वन के जी ब्लॉक एंड जीरो पॉइंट फाइव के जी ब्लॉक बी टी वन एंड द टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग ज्वाइनिंग बोथ वन के जी ब्लॉक्स बी टी टू ऑल्सो लेट एस एज्यूम दैट द इंटायर सिस्टम मूव विथ एक्सलरेशन ए नाउ लेट एस ड्रॉ द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट फाइव के जी ब्लॉक If we denote its mass by m1, then gravitational force of m1 g will pull the block in downward direction. Tension T1 will pull it upward, and we have assumed the acceleration of the block to be a. As per the Newton's second law of motion, m1 g minus T1 is equal to m1 a. Putting m1 is equal to 0.5 and acceleration due to gravity as 10 meter per second square, we get 5 minus T1 is equal to 0.5 a. Now let us draw the free body diagram of 1 kg block on the right. If we denote the mass of the block by m2, then the gravitational force of m2 g will act in vertically downward direction. Normal reaction from the floor n2 will push it upward. Tension T1 will pull it towards right, and tension T2 will pull it towards left. Friction from the floor with magnitude mu into n2 will act towards left, and the block will move towards right with acceleration a. Balancing forces in vertical direction, we get n2 is equal to m2g. Putting the values, we get n2 is equal to 10 newtons. For motion in horizontal direction, we get t1 minus t2 minus mu n2 is equal to m2a. Putting the values, this becomes t1 minus t2 minus 2 is equal to a. Finally, let us draw the free body diagram of the third block. If we denote its mass by m3 then gravitational force of m3g will pull the block in downward direction normal reaction from the floor n3 will push it upward tension in the string t2 will pull it towards right friction force of magnitude mu n3 will act towards left and the block will move towards right with acceleration a balancing the forces in vertical direction we get n3 is equal to m3g or 10 newtons Writing the equation of motion in horizontal direction, we get T two minus mu n three is equal to m three a. Putting the values, we get T two minus two is equal to a. Adding equations one, two, and three, we get five minus four is equal to two point five a, which implies a is equal to one by two point five or zero point four meter per second square. This is the answer to part a of the question. Putting the value of a in the equation three, we get T two minus two is equal to zero point four. Or T two is equal to two point four newtons. This is answer to part B of the question. Putting the value of a in equation one, we get five minus T one is equal to zero point five into zero point four, which implies T one is equal to five minus zero point two, that is four point eight newtons. This is answer to part C of the question. In order to request solution to any question from H C B R M A book, post the question number and chapter number in comments below. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.